Good evening and welcome to the updated edition of the SIU Night Report. I'm Tina Norris. Britain breaks with Iran. And I'm Mark Carvel. In sports, the Salukis go for number 18. Britain will close its embassy in Tehran. The British are pulling its entire embassy staff out of the Iranian capital in protest of the Ayatollah Khomeini's death threat against the author of the book, The Satanic Verses. Many Muslims say the book insults their religion. Britain is joined in protest by the 11 other members of the European Common Market who are reclaiming diplomats from Iran. That if Iran wants to have normal relations with the rest of the world, then that, that kind of conduct has to be renounced. Protests are a sharp blow to Iran's hopes of improving relations with the West. President Bush is standing by his nominee for Defense Secretary John Tower. Bush read the final FBI report on Tower today. John Tower's confirmation has been stalled by allegations about excessive drinking and womanizing. A White House spokesman said today that the report doesn't corroborate with the charges, nor show any problems with illegal campaign contributions. Former Ku Klux Klan leader David Duke won the election for a seat in the Louisiana State House, but his battle may not be over. One legislator says he intends to challenge Duke's seating, and a citizens group is meeting tonight to decide whether to file suit against Duke's victory. Accusations have been made that Duke didn't meet residency requirements for the nearly all-white district that elected him. And in local news, a simple boarding house in Heron has been made into a homeless shelter and crisis center. The Family Crisis Center opened today to treat and shelter the, pe the people of Williamson County. The center can care for two dozen or more homeless people. The center can also take in victims of family violence. This is the second crisis center to open in Williamson County. Police in Benton say a woman armed with a butcher knife robbed a grocery store this evening and escaped with an undetermined amount of cash. The woman, who had a stocking over her face, entered the South Side Food Mart at 6.15, displayed the knife, and demanded money. She is described as being about 5 foot 5 and 125 pounds with shoulder-length dark brown hair. The way Illinois legislators receive pay raises may be changed. Two Republican House members introduced bills to change the current system of getting pay increases. Currently, the state com compensation review board makes salary proposals that automatically go into effect unless both houses of the legislature reject the raises. Under one new bill, the independent salary review panel will stay, but both houses must approve the higher salaries. The other proposal requires lawmakers to get pay raises if drafted and approved by the legislature and then signed by the governor. Mark, it was a long time coming. Sure was. The Saluki men's basketball team went for number 18 tonight against Murray State. Let's go to the arena. It was close early. Freddie McSwain starts to roll, and he scores here from the baseline. It was Saluki's 10-6. Uh, Southern went on a run as Rick Shipley goes to Tony Harvey. Back to Ship, and it's 14-6. The racers were led early by Don Mann. Here he hits three and cuts the SIU lead to five. Southern opened it up, and the final, SIU 79, Murray State 71. And in the first game of tonight's doubleheader, the SIU women took on the Huskies from Northern Illinois. At one point, the Huskies scored 17 points to SIU's two. The final there, SIU 71. Northern Illinois 63 in overtime. For the first time in five weeks, the number one team in college basketball has held on to the top spot. Oklahoma, after downing both Kansas and Colorado, gets a nod from the Associated Press. Arizona State stays at number two with Georgetown, Indiana, and North Carolina rounding out the top five. Also in the top ten, number seven is Missouri down for number three, and Illinois down five to number ten. And finally, Tina, a little news from the St. Louis Cardinals. Two of the seven remaining players assigned for the season, Greg Matthews and Scott Terry, signed their contracts today. Thanks, Mark. A flash flood watch continues tonight in the southern Illinois area. And now let's take a look at the forecast. Tonight, the rain will continue with the possibility of thunderstorms. The low will be in the upper 30s or lower 40s. Tomorrow, skies will be cloudy with a 40% chance of rain early. Colder, high 35. Tomorrow night, cloudy and colder, low near 30. And for Wednesday, cloudy, still colder, high near 30. For Mark Carvel, I'm Tina Norris. Thank you for joining us for the updated edition of the SIU Night Report. Good night.